Yo, what is going on guys? We are here with the Thar. Now this to me looks like a combination between a Jeep Wrangler and a, uh, a Jimny. Um, really close, like, but it looks console friendly, it looks a little poly, it looks pretty basic, but it looks like it could be decent. You know what to do guys, drop a like on the video, drop a sub on the channel, let's jump in. Alright guys, today we're going to check out the Thar. Now to me this looks like a uh, Jeep Wrangler. We're going to customize it though. Um, yeah, engine we got M-Hawk uh, 110K, 120K, and 90K. We're going to go with the 120K. Gearbox, we got the high range dot custom 6 speed hybrid and M-Hawk off-road. We're going to go with the M-Hawk off-road. Suspension, we got Thar Active, stock, raised, and tuned custom. Uh, we're going to go with the raised. Tires, we get 36 HS1, 2, and 3 for highway, AS1, 2, and 3 in 36, 38, and 39, as well as TRAT1 and TRAT2, or sorry, in 38 and 39. Off road, we've got OS1 in 36, 38, 39, as well as TR01 in 38, 39. Mud tires, we get 36 MS1, 38 MS1, 39 MS1, 38 TM1, 38 TM2, 38 TRM1. 39 TM1, 39 TM2, and 39 TRM1. We also got chain CS1 um, all the way up to 36 custom off-road, but I don't know why this is in the chain section. Yeah, they ignore ice, but why isn't this in the um, mud section? And these are the nicest tires in my opinion. For these mud tires, they just don't look that good. So I'm gonna go with the 39 custom off-road and hope that they're good in mud. Winch, we got custom autonomous stock, high power extended length, uh, and stock anonymous we're autonomous we're gonna go with the custom autonomous spare wheel we're gonna throw that on the back snorkel we're gonna take our snorkel frame add-ons we got a hard top uh, we got a roof rack big we've also got roof rack small roof rails and trunk repair supplies we're gonna take the trunk repair supplies and the roof rails we got stock rear bumper uh, we also have roof fog lights front bumper we got stock and we got our rims color options we got all the different options I really like the black um, and also the white, but this military green or olive green, this is nice too. So I'm gonna go with that. Let's pull it out and see what it could do, guys. So first things first, we all know I'm a big critic on interiors and this just doesn't really have it. It has a Play-Doh style interior uh, of a older Jeep Wrangler. But we're not gonna judge a book by its cover. Let's hit the road. We got the repair supplies in the back. They move a little bit, that's cool. Engine sound is decent. I really like the look of these custom tires. These are nice. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna torture this thar a little bit and see how it handles. This is really low poly, really basic. If I had to guess, I don't think I've seen this mod developer release anything uh, custom like this before. There's a good chance this is their first mod. So if it is, you know, don't think this is bad or trash or anything. For first mod, this looks really cool, and this definitely could have been the mod developer's uh, vision for the project is low poly, optimized, console friendly. Yeah, that's a good possibility. Let's put it in a high gear. Oh, high gear is really slow. We're going to stay in automatic because it's staying in automatic pretty good. The suspension here is, as you can tell, pretty stiff and firm. I don't think we're getting the play out of it that we kind of normally look for especially in a raised suspension um yeah they're firm but i don't think they're this firm it just sounds like it has no suspension sometimes but that could be partially because of the short wheelbase the tail lights illuminate but they, they just look kind of bland to be honest the custom tire though this that's like i don't know that's king for me on this mod so far we haven't gotten stuck this isn't op it's not super fast or anything Fuel consumption's reasonable. 80 liter fuel tank. We're consuming 2.6 liters uh, a minute right now. Keep crawling a little bit. I haven't taken any damage yet. It's taking these rocks fine. Taking the mud fine. Like it's it is cruising through this. This little thar is uh actually cruising pretty good through this, I have to say. I'm quite surprised. I'm impressed. 
I'm very impressed. And we just took some damage. All right, let's continue down. May have taken a round turn, so we might have to cut over up here. Yeah, we're gonna have to cut over. Took a round turn, but we we took a little damage finally, so that's a good sign. just hopping over these rocks this is it's cool this is really cool concept but console players dream is what this mod is um, PC I think there's some better options we got the blizzard coming out soon although it's not an older style Wrangler and I think this is what this is kind of inspired to be and the blizzard also is not a two-door but you know what we might just have to talk to big dubs about doing a two-door blizzard we'll have to see So what I wanted to do was just kind of get down here where these uh, trucks or the trailers are um, and have the Thar down here. This is a decent little mod. If you're a console player and this is available on console, 10 out of 10 recommend you check it out. If you're a PC player, check it out because it's still cool, but don't be uh, surprised at the low poly kind of... I know as a PC player, one of the things we look forward to the most is high poly quality. Um, and this is quality, especially for console. Don't get me wrong, but this just isn't quality that a I think a PC player is going to look for in a mod to daily. Um, but there could be updates. This could be the first mod. There's a lot that I don't know. Download it either way. Check it out. Judge for yourself, guys. We'll catch you with the next one.